The reason that you don't ever want to sign a marriage contract is because when you sign that contract, what you're actually doing is you're contracting into a maritime admiralty contract. That's why marriage sounds like maritime. You're contracting the government to act as a third party intermediary between you and your partner. So really you're marrying the government. You're, you're marrying the government to act as the third party intermediary. Before the British crown captured our country and turned us into a police state and installed all these corrupt court, court systems and judges and the police and their whole legal system, which is all corrupt, it's all scam, it's all fraud. We'll get more into that later. But one thing that they did is they replaced God with the government government is actually a religion. It's called the religion of statism, where people believe that the government is God. And before this corrupt government came in and installed their corrupt system, people just used to get married and they'd write it down in the Bible. And then the relationship was between the two partners and God. But the government came in with their manipulative contracts. They tried to install themselves where God used to be. So that's why you should never sign a marriage contract. The whole idea with the marriage contract is to get you into the court systems. Yeah, the court systems is all scam, it's all fraud, because when you go into the court systems, they're pulling money out of your SESTA QV trust. And if you don't know what that is, it's, it's a trust account, a bank account that was created when your parents signed the birth certificate and created your citizenship, which also was a slave contract with the British crown. And the International Monetary Fund bonds that trust with a million dollars when you are born and it creates that citizenship slave contract. By the way, citizen, that comes from two words, city, which is municipal, and zen, which is a servant or a slave. So if you're still a citizen, you're a municipal servant or a municipal slave. And when you get pulled into the court system, divorce court, which is what, what their ultimate goal is, they're going to pull money out of your trust fund. The judges, the defense attorneys, the whole bar association, the recording clerk, they're all just pulling money out of that trust fund. It's money you didn't even know you had. And that money that gets bonded in that trust by the International Monetary Fund, it floats the whole corrupt system of government. It's all scam. It's all fraud. Your social security number is a scam and a fraud, which is also created when your parents signed the birth certificate. Your citizenship is a scam and a fraud. The police, the judges, the court systems, the recording clerk, the bar association is all a scam. It's all a big fraud. And you need to know this. And you also need to know the way out. And here's how you do it. You revoke your citizenship. You terminate that slave contract. I already did it. I can show you how to do it. Might take you a few months and a little bit of unlearning and relearning, but you can get your freedom. You can remove yourself from the jurisdiction of their agents. That's what happens when you revoke your citizenship. You remove yourself from their jurisdiction. And if you want to learn how to do it, just follow me on my Telegram group and on my other social media accounts, and I'll send you the steps.